What's up, what's up everybody? It's Hall of Heroes time again, and this month we have Sun, the Water Harp Magician. I don't know why, but I really was not expecting this one, to be honest. Let's take a look at her. I already have her built. Uh, this is on my main account. I already have her built, though. She is, a, she's basically a budget Hathor, right? Her first skill, Sleep and Attack Age Reduction. Not a huge chance. Well, let's just take a look at the skills, actually. Uh, attack Age Reduction and Sleep. Again, not really a great chance. Damage increases according to attack speed. She doesn't have crazy attack speed like her. Yeah, that's kind of one of the bummers about her, right? Uh, the other ones have much higher uh, base attack, so they do more damage just based on that. But she does have this second skill. All enemies to sleep for one turn, 50% chance, inflicts continuous damage. This was actually a better skill. They nerfed her support. They, I'm sorry, they fixed the skill which nerfed her and nerfed Celia, and that's like... I don't know if you, I'm sure you guys have noticed me complaining about Celia. I was so excited to get her. And then they fixed the Water and Light Harp Magicians. And then the Nightmare Melody is just not what it used to be, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. It used to be so awesome. It used to be like a very consistent sleep, and now it's just like, eh. And then the continuous damage. The continuous damage wakes them up anyway, but it doesn't really, it's, a, it's only a one turn sleep. It's not like it's a two turn sleep. Um, but she's basically a budget Hathor. She's not bad for TLA. This also attacks all enemies. Uh, so this actually does some damage, puts them to sleep for one turn, creates a shield, uh, equivalent to 30% of the damage on all allies. Damage increases according to your max HP. So, I mean, you don't really build her for damage, though. You just build her fast on violent with good accuracy. That's, that's basically the, the build for her. And if you already have things like Varad and Hathor and other crowd control units, things like Rika. I mean, like, where I would use her really is, like, TOA hard with... Or, or TOA or in, like, a team with bombs. Also, again, in, in TOA. Uh, I know Fua, if you guys remember Fua. Some of you remember Fua. Some of you new players are like, I don't know who that is. Uh, used to have fun using her in RTA. She's basically like a budget Hathor. Hathor is just better. Like, Hathor is just overall just better for so many different reasons. But she's like a budget Hathor. She's not bad in TOA. She's okay in RTA, but at this point, everyone's pay to win. They have Hathor, and her base speed is not great. She doesn't have a strip, so she's, she's not Hathor. She's a budget Hathor. A budget Hathor. But at least it scalps for the uh, the fire one and the wind one. Which, or if you're lucky enough to get the light dark ones, scalps for those, which is really great. I'm building I'm building the fire and wind on like all my accounts. So this is, I'll keep one of these water ones because I don't really need any TOA units. Um, but this is a great, uh, this is skill ups, right? Scalps for the, the fire and wind ones, which I know you can fuse skill ups, but there's like... You need so many skills for them. You need so many skills for these units. Anyway, let's take her and let's uh, see her in uh, some actual battles and see what she does. Okay, here's an example of a TOA hard bomb team. We're going to use Sonnet. She's going to put them to sleep. We're going to stick some bombs on them. And then by the time they wake up, they're going to be dead. <laughs> terrible, terrible way to say things. By the time they wake up, they're going to be dead. She should have good access to her, um, to all of her things. We've got some... Sleepies? Actually, they did go to Sleepies. Wow. It's lovely how she works, but my Celia doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not salty at all, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not salty at all. Okay, so we got some Sleepies. We got some Sleepies. We got some Sleepies. We got some Defense Breakies. We got some... Uh... This is going to do damage. It's going to wake up the first Sleep. Because it does damage, but it's going to Sleepy them again. Okay. We'll do one of these. We'll do one of these. He's going to do his uh, whatever's... He's gonna do one of these. Let's see, they're not they're not getting any turns. We'll start working on you then. We'll do one of actually we should we could have just kept him uh, awake. Or whatever. Asleep. Which is the one where they're where they're not awake. <laughs> we could have kept him awake. He's asleep. Vega, you mean the other one. You mean the other one. Yes, I meant the other one. Okay, so she's got skill two again. She's uh she's not max though, but this is this is a nice because we don't really see too many TOA uh, hard I, I I haven't done a TOA hard bomb team in a long time like video of that so here's a nice little example in case anyone wonders what a TOA hard bomb team looks like there you go and we're even using the fire joker because I wanted I mean like we of course we have other stuff but it's a usable unit why not right. 
Not that it's a super premium unit, the Fire Joker, but it is a bomber and it is a free, uh, it is a easily accessible bomber. If you don't have access to Malaka or uh, what's his face? What's the wind one? Taurus. If you don't have access to Malaka or Taurus or, or other bombers, light dark bombers even, then uh, he's not a bad, he's not a bad option. How much is this? Uh, I was gonna see how much the how much damage the oh we we didn't sleep the uh, this girl, okay. But everyone goes to sleep. By the time they wake up, they're dead. <laughs> Again, it sounds terrible to say. See, this is this is what I was talking about with the. She's not fully maxed, but I can show you the Celia. Celia being fully maxed doesn't really do uh, anything crazy either, like we want her to. Um. Yeah, we may, we may as well attack break, uh, defense break this. Didn't even stun, bro. Didn't even get the stun. Sleep skill one. Skill one just as effective as skill two. Bagel, you salty. No, I'm not salty. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. We'll do skill three. We got some extra continuous damage on there. It's a good, good zone. Uh, do we don't even need this right now, do we? We'll have our uh, skill two available again if we need it for the next stage. Look at that, boom boom. And she doesn't need. Uh, I know she has. A, we'll save the the bomb for the next stage. I know she has 100% accuracy. She does, she doesn't need 100% accuracy for TOA hard. She just happened to have accuracy. Uh, I stuck an accuracy slot six on her, which had good subs. So. We'll do one of these. Decrease tech H some more. We'll do a bomb. We'll do sleepies. Watch nothing go to sleep. See, now that, uh. Yeah. That poses some problems, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it, guys? <laughs> doesn't it pose some problems? I, I actually feel like going for the ice bomb on here, even waking her up. Going for the ice bomb to decrease the attack power of everyone. It might be the best option. Let's decrease attack uh, on you. Let's do you again. Let's do some of these. See, like this is really like this is what I was talking about when I was when I was saying like they they nerfed her. I mean they didn't they they fixed her or they fixed the uh, the heart magician just in general skill too. But uh, yeah, they nerfed. They nerfed it. So mean. They were so mean to us. Let's do some damage. Let's do some. Uh, we gotta keep. Make sure he's a uh, attack gauge reduced. Although you know what, he was gonna. S Gotta love it. Let's uh, cleanse you. Let's do how many are asleep. We'll do this. Because we're only waking one up. We'll do attack age reduction. We'll do some sleepies here. See, the third skill is great, but the second skill is just... And again, so I know people are going to be like, Well, it's not Max Bagel. It's the same second skill as Celia. Again, I'm going to say the same thing again. It's the same second skill as Celia, and Celia just does not land it anymore. As a Celia owner, as a Celia owner, I'm telling you, Celia just does not land anymore. She used to, once upon a time, she used to land that second skill like a boss. But uh, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've lost RTA matches from just Celia. Just being like, you know what, I, my second skill doesn't do anything. So, yeah, the third skill is boss, though. Third skill is great. I mean, Zyra's just resisted, these things happen, but... A good third skill. Let's attack gauge reduce you. Cause if we don't, it's gonna be a problem. This uh Jameer. I think we're just gonna kill Jameer by killing Jameer. By uh <laughs> we're gonna kill hold on guys. We're <laughs> bagel logic. We're gonna kill Jameer by killing Jameer. We're gonna kill Jameer uh after everything else is dead. 
or, or whatever. He's going to cleanse. Like, we don't want him to cleanse. I don't know what I was trying to say. Listen, I'm not good at talking. That's why I'm a YouTuber. Sound logic. We just thought of this now. But you get the idea. Bomb team, TOA, fairly attainable units. Fran Lord, two bombers, and uh, Sonnet. And we just continue the match. And this TOA hard 70. I, I didn't want to do it on TOA like 20, right? Because then there's no point. You can just use whatever on there. But at least TOA uh, 70, you get an idea of like what to do. While we're here, let's take her into some Guild Wars. Why not? I set up this defense of a uh, fairly standard defense for the first team. So we'll see what she can. I mean, we, we, we know what she can do. We'll see her sleep. And then we'll uh, watch Theo Mars violent proc. Actually, well, actually, he's going to bomb himself into oblivion if he violent procs. So we'll do one of these. Shall we go for... I'm going to pretend I don't know that this Theo Mars is on revenge. I'm going to pretend I don't know that this Theo Mars is re revenge, right? So, and we missed it, but let's go for, uh, let's go for this. Fully Blathers! Theo Mars, are you hurt? Fully Blathers! I do want, uh, you know what, I'm going to go for this Malaka because I know the, oh! <laughs> I didn't know the fair was going to Vile Proc. I know the, uh, Fran can take a hit. I didn't want, yeah, I didn't want him to go after Malaka. I didn't want him to go up to that Malaka. Let's go for uh, attack age reduction on you. I wanted him to see the, the, the HP on the Fran and go for the Fran. Because Fran can take a hit more than Malaka can. Actually, my Malaka is pretty decently ruined. So, Malaka can take a hit too. Oh, this Fran, cl Fran clearly on Violent Runes. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Fran is clearly on Violent Runes. Theomar, Theomar seems to not be on Violet Runes. Good to know. Good to know my Theomars doesn't Violent Proc. Uh, we may as well just go for Skill 1. <laughs> skill, skill 1's a better sleep than Skill 2. <laughs> Vaguely, you salty? I'm not salty! What are you talking about? I'm not salty. GG. Now you guys know how to beat the... Theomar... I don't know. I'm, I'm on a kick of uh, showing you guys how, different ways to beat these defenses now. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Use her with bombs. Why not? Right? Because bombs don't, bombs don't, uh, bombs don't wake anything up when you plant them. So that's why I use her with bombs. Bombs not bad. Oh my god, Fred! GG! All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, just to recap, she is a... She's basically a budget Hathor, a budget Varad. She's a, she's a four-star CC unit. The other CC units are stronger, but she's definitely very much usable, especially for, like, a TOA bomb team. Uh, I wouldn't really use her in Guild Wars. She's, there's just better stuff to use. You may as well just kill them fast in Guild Wars, just one-shot them. But uh, for TOA, for Hall of Heroes, ironically enough, she's good in Hall of Heroes. She's a Hall of Heroes unit. That's good in Hall of Heroes. Um, but yeah, she's a, she's a budget... She's budget crowd control. And you don't really see her too much because, let's face it, a lot of people... The game's been out for five years. A lot of people are either, number one, pay to win. Uh, or, number two, they've been around so long that they've accumulated a lot of... Like the other streamers, the other YouTubers, whatever. They've accumulated a lot of the even more premium CC units like Hathor and like Varad and like Rika and like, I don't know, there's so many, there's so many, <laughs> like Monkey King, because um, everyone's got that. But there's just a lot of people that have all those premium units, so you don't see things like Sonnet much anymore, and also because she got a little nerf when they changed the skill too, so she's not as relevant as before, but she was actually being used before when she first came up. People were like, oh, it's a nice unit. You know, because she's, she's got decent CC on her, but just if you have more premium ones, then you're probably not going to build her. But still, uh, skill ups for the wind one who needs a lot of skill ups, and then the fire one who needs a lot of skill ups as well. Let's take a look at the, we take a quick look, because like, like I said, I'm building these on my alts, and I'm like, man, he needs so many skill ups. One, two, and then, so that's six, and then another six to twelve on this one, and this one is, uh, 
This one's 13, so if you're building both the wind and the fire one, you need 25. <laughs> you need 25. I mean, you can fuse them, but fusing 25 units is not really not really a quick task. So anyway, uh, it's cool that there's Hollow Heroes for these. Because I was actually going to scope one of my heart magicians on the Asia server with that four-star scope event. I'm glad I didn't do it yet. So, it's kind of a win. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.